everyone, Chef Eric here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe down below and hit the like button. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make mini red velvet cake perfect for the upcoming Valentine's Day. Thank you. 
Now, a crucial step when you're making a red velvet cake is to combine bicarbonate of soda and the apple cider vinegar, which will cause a reaction. But before we do that, we want to make sure our flour is fully mixed in. So just gently go around. Okay, now once that's fully mixed in, now we want to combine our half, this is half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and um, apple cider vinegar. We also want to add that in and it's going to fizz and bubble up like that. And then you want to add that directly and straight into the cake and fold it right in. This is a 9 by 13 inch pan. Uh, now we're going to whip up our heavy cream for the cake. So here I have some uh, pristine whipping cream. You could get a different brand in Nairobi. And we're just going to pour that into the bowl of your sun mixer. When we are soft mixed, we now want to add two spoons of uh, icing sugar. You can add as much or as little as you like. Our cream here is perfectly whipped. It can boil as quick as you can see. And now that is ready. I'm just going to cover this with cheese for a few minutes as we work on the other components. Now with the help of our hot template, I will put this in the link in the description down below. We're just going to gently place a printed out hot template on our cake and start to trim it. So, just gently go around the heart. onto a cake board and we're just going to do this over and over again until we've covered the whole cake. Okay, now I'm going to start by uh, individually decorating these cakes. So, Cake board on, a little bit of frosting, then the first layer of cake. So that cake is done. It's like definitely done, but this is what we call the crumb coat. This is just to seal in the crumbs. So we're just going to pop this in the freezer for 10 minutes as we continue doing the others.
that my cam coat is now fully chilled and set, we're now going to add the final layer of whipped cream. 